Hi everyone, or welcome to 1939, December the 13th at River Plate. Here we are. We're here with the cruiser Exeter of the British Royal Navy. Joining the Exeter, we have Ajax and Achilles behind us. There we are. In front of us, we have the Admiral Graf Spey. Here she is, look at that. A formidable ship indeed. Those two large gun turrets, fore and aft, with three 11 inch guns in each, is a formidable, formidable enemy to come up against. We, on the other hand, are here in the Exeter um, with our eight inch guns. Yeah. The Achilles and the Ajax behind have six inch guns. So, the firepower advantage definitely lies with the Admiral Graf Spey. And this, as I said, was the 13th of December 1939, a, a recreation of the Battle of River Plate. Yes, a very famous battle where the, uh, the Royal Navy took heavy damage but managed to force the uh, heavily damaged herself, Admiral Graf Spey, into a neutral port. Um, from there, they convinced the captain through false news and fake news, which is very popular these days, that the British Royal Navy fleet was sitting off the uh, the coast waiting for her to um, come out. So the captain did what he thought best and scuttled the ship. However, today we are going to try and sink her in the open sea, uh, which will be an incredible challenge, as you know, with the, uh, the firepower advantage she has. So she's coming straight towards us. If we have a look at the map, here we go. Uh, we've got the Exeter, who historically did charge the Graf Spey and took incredible amount of damage from doing so. Uh, the Achilles took light damage and the Ajax took medium damage. Uh, the Royal Navy pronounced that Ajax, not Ajax. Ajax is a Dutch football club. Um, and clearly that's a, a cruiser. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn sharply to starboard and um, move the Exeter towards her. The reason we're doing this, yes it keeps the, the, the rear gun out of the um, the fight, but we we're trying to stay in front of the Admiral Graf's bay so she can only use one of her gun turrets. If we get broadside then she can bring four and a half gun turrets to bear and that's good night for these cruisers. That is absolutely good night. So if we select on the Graf's bay up here you get the details about the uh, the ship, <clears throat> excuse me, the range, the predicted elevation, and the predicted torpedo uh, um, degree heading that you would need to uh, fire that to get a rough hit. Now that's only a guesstimate. That's only for, from the chaps on board with the range finders up here, um, calculating that on their uh, on their system. After each volley you fire, after each turn, the range will update and they'll try and get closer and closer and closer and closer to the mark. They're never 100% accurate. They can be, but you can't trust it. It's just a guide. It's just a guide. Right. And using the uh, this bearing here, we'll um, bring the gun to the front of the ship because we're obviously targeting the turrets. If we can knock the turrets out, we are in a better place. So they're estimating that the gun elevation needs to be 18.1 degrees to get a hit. So let's bring the gun elevation up to, you can see this is the detail, 18.1. So that is what they're guesstimating at and the chances of that being accurate are minimum. So we'll fire at the guesstimate and I'll show you that they'll, they'll be bloody accurate this time. But we'll fire the front guns, 8 inch shells, armor piercing and they're short. Actually that wasn't bad, that's not a bad guesstimate. Over here we have the Ajax. Now she's only got six inch guns. And each time in this game, in Atlantic Fleet, it's a turn based game, um, you get a movement uh, turn and then you've got an action turn. So this is the movement turn. So we're going to turn her to port. And she's currently doing full speed ahead. Now is our action phase. So we're going to select the Admiral Graf Spey. You see all four guns turn towards her. There are only six inch armor piercing shells we have. We have high explosive as well, but that's pretty useless here. Uh, we got four torpedoes, so if we got close, we could fire some torpedoes at her. Um, but we're going to concentrate with the six inch armor piercing. Elevation prediction is 39.3. .3. 
and that is almost at her limit I think there we go 45 degrees is her limit so 39.3 let's go 39.9 because we'll that's only an estimate don't forget and this is going to be plunging fire with six inch shells so fire first volley from Ajax and we're going to be really long really long okay um, so over to Achilles now Achilles I want you to turn in on her as well target the Admiral Graf's Bay 34.7 okay let's go to there we go you look, look down here for where the guns currently are so if I bring that up to 34.8 close enough fire and get a range from that really long okay really long we need to shorten that down right Graf Spade's turn she fires her enormous front guns oh my goodness she's already scored a hit hopefully that wasn't too serious not much damage okay let's go to flank speed we need to stay in front we do not want her to bring both those guns to bear on us right switching up to just go for the front of the ship again trying to get that turret 15.8 is the estimate now she was spot on last almost spot on so let's go 15.8 let's go with her hopefully they've recalculated and this will be pretty accurate I'm not sure right we'll keep turning to port we're in a circle around them with uh, the Ajax and the Achilles keep the fire rate up 30.6 is the guesstimate which is a long way off what the last one was but we were very long last time so I think that's a bit short 30.6 so let's go to 30 31.2 that probably proved me wrong now oh good hit good hit let's just see what did we get Oh, we took out the oh the range finders on fire. We didn't take out. I thought we took out the rear turret. Then I thought oh, our days are going to be joyous because then we can just get behind her. But no, that's not no, that's not the case. Anyway, uh, let's just move the um, Achilles. Um, she's targeting twenty-seven point eight. Now, bearing in mind she is oh she is a bit further um, towards the ship than the other one. So 27.8, let's get 20, let's go for 28.1, fire. Close, we bracketed her. Oh, she's bringing that rear turret into action. Oh, there we go. Oh, big hit on the Exeter. Exeter's in trouble now. Keep, keep. Now we're gonna kind of give her a profile now. The rear, the rear gun's not quite in action. Right, targeting the front gun. 16.1. Uh, we were short, weren't we? So let's go. 16.2. Fire. Bang on, bang on. Didn't do much damage though, sadly. Target that front gun again. And let's try and give the Exeter a chance. 27.5. 27.6. Fire. Yeah, minor hit to the front. Nothing to report. Right. We're going to swing this in. Obviously, the closer... The tighter we get towards the target, obviously the uh, the rear guns may not then have the angle to fire, but uh, from this range, these 6-inch shells are going to do nothing. So, 27.6. Couple of hits. Oh, I'm worried about the extra. She is struggling. She is struggling. Yeah, she's listing already. 
her, her rudder's damaged, and so, um, so she's getting spun around a bit. All right, let's bring that gun to bear. 16, they reckon. 16.1. Oh, I would have thought the rear gun would have almost been in range now, but find the two front ones. Oh, we're long. We're really long. Move the Ajax up. Target that front gun. If we can get a gun out, then the Exeter's not completely done for. 25.8, fire. Ah, this plunging fire is not really doing anything for us. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Achilles to charge in. I think um, 23.5. Go 23.7. Fire. Just the front guns because of the angle of the ship. Getting painful. Well, I think our rudder is back in action, so we'll we're gonna turn towards her, reduce the profile of the ship. Of course, it means we can't use the rear gun, but we haven't used it so far. Um, but it just gives us a chance that maybe we can dodge a few more. Twelve point eight is the guesstimate. Let's go. Twelve point seven. Fire. Ah, uh, that was about thirteen then. Right, um, we're going to continue to bring this round, try and get a little bit closer. But again, we don't want to get too close. 25, let's go with that. 25.1, fire. They're not doing anything, are they? Just minor scuffly hits. Uh, if we get the front of the ship... Oh no, that's where the, the rear guns come in. Okay, we need to turn the ship slightly, but we are charging towards her. Well, closer to her, not really charging towards her, let's say. Right, 22.3 is the guesstimate. We'll go with it. Get the front guns opening up. Minor hit. Another minor hit on the... Um, God, she can't keep hit taking these 11 inch shells. Right, she is doing flank speed. Right, let's turn her slightly to port. Just trying to reduce the profile a little bit more. 13.5. We'll go 13.3. Fire. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> it's close, but no cigar. Right, go on, Ajax. This, this is the one. This is the one. 21.6. That seems very short, but let's go 21.9. Fire. Yeah, that estimate was well short. Even me increasing it slightly didn't really make a difference. Bring the Achilles up. Uh, 21.6. Go to twenty-one point six. There we go. Fire. Ah, we just we've got no chance. She's in trouble. She is in trouble. Right, swing it round. We'll try and get behind her. That's our only option now. Uh, we'll concentrate fire on the rear gun. And we'll try and get the extra behind her, but I think she's pretty much spent force now. We've got to console ourselves to the fact that we may, in all likelihood, lose the Exeter. And with it, our most powerful guns. Which is a bit of a worry. So, um, concentrate on the four of the ship again. 21.7, 21.6, fire. That might be short, actually, thinking about it. No, it looks okay. It's the 
it's not doing any damage. Okay, we need to turn her to bring the... Uh, we need to get these two with the, all their guns bring into bear. So we're going to have to turn her in a second. All right, let's go to 19.3. Estimate of 18.8. Scuffle. Nothing. Oh. She's got the speed on us as well. Exeter's dead. She is dead. So this is going pretty much to um, script. We're getting pummeled. And there's that rear turret there. Uh, 12. 12. Fire. Minor hits, nothing, nothing to write home about. This is terrible, this is terrible. We're going to lose the Exeter very shortly. 19.4, uh, let's go to 19.8 and open up the 6-inch shells. Come on, you got to hit us sooner or later. Hey, that's a bit better. There's a smoke coming up from the graph spray, is there? Mm, not that you'd know. <laughs> okay, never mind. Right, we're going to turn slightly to starboard so we can bring the rear guns hopefully into 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 play. Concentrating on that front turret again. 18.4 fire. Not good. Oh. Good heavens. Not bringing that rear gun in yet. We're just trying to try and get behind her. Eleven point six. Uh, where were we last time? Were we long or short? We were just short, weren't we? So let's go eleven point seven. Fire. No, we were long. Crap. Ah, we've got to get these ones moving as well because they're coming. The um, the graph spay is nicely setting herself up to quickly finish the extra off and then finish these ships off as well. We're letting her dictate this battlefield at the moment. Concentrating on the front. Try and get that gun. 70.2. Fire! Me, we are chancing this. Right, um, I want you to turn to starboard. Just try and reduce the profile, and hopefully get behind her as soon as possible. There's that turret there. Eleven point three. Now we've been long the last two, so let's go eleven point two. Fire. We're still long, even in short, shortening the. Um, right, these need to go to flank speed. We need to get these moving. Uh, and I'm going to concentrate on that rear turret as well. 17.7. Uh, 17.7 fire. Now the range finders should have, you know, they've kind of get, they got their range now, haven't they? It's looking pretty good. So you can use that within a couple of points of degree as the, uh, as the target. Unless the ship drastically changes towards um, her direction or something like that. We, we are pretty much getting there 16.3 let's I'm gonna go 16.6 okay oh oh there we go now we're on it oh torpedoes in the water torpedoes in the water okay the good thing is if she's fired torpedoes it means that oh my goodness the Exeter's almost underwater keep going Exeter you're almost you're doing grand. You're doing grand. Let's concentrate on that rear gun again. 10.7. Go 10.6. Fire. Oh, good hit on the turret. No, no damage though. Right. We're moving us in. Oh, we're fine. Like we've we've cracked the walnut. 
a bit of her down a bit of her hull has been breached so um, let's continue to focus on her 16.1 is the estimate let's go 16 point no 6.3 is a bit too much I think 16.2 it's a bit fiddly fire we just need Achilles and Ajax to keep up the rate of fire well wow, good hit on the front turret that time keep up keep moving keep moving keep going it's their turn to uh, feel a bit of suffering. Right, 14.7, uh, 14.8, fire. Torpedoes in the water. Um, they may run out of life by the time they get towards us. Oh God. Oh! Crikey. Uh, you can see the torpedoes coming towards us now, so I'm going to continue on our current course. Uh, our speed has obviously dropped because we are heavily damaged. Um, let's target that front gun. 10.4. Let's go 10, because we were long last time, weren't we? Front turret is out of action! The front turret is out of action! That means... Let's have a look at that. That is awesome! Yes! Okay. Um, let's have a look at the tactical. So we got these two. These two just need to keep bombing up. Um, the Exeter has got... The Exeter is just going to have to lump it, I'm afraid. Because she's... Her engine's speed is down. She's taken heavy damage. Um, yeah. Okay. That is good news. That is good news. We've got a chance now. We've got a chance. Right, let's switch over to Ajax. Um, concentrate all fire. On that super star destroyer. No, on the um let's move. On the rear turret. Oh, if we can knock out the rear turret as well. We may just save Exeter. I'll be honest, that is a big if. I think the Exeter at this point is beyond saving, but uh fifteen point four estimate, let's go to fifteen point six, fire! bit long okay bizarrely where the fire is is where the uh, rear turret is as well uh, so 13.6 let's go 13.7 fire good hits good hits torpedoes in the water I don't know how long I think they normally go for three turns is it she's bringing her rear gun to bear Oh <laughs> God, this is this is terrifying. Right, um Right, where are those torpedoes? Let's try and narrow our profile. We obviously we can't do much because we are damaged. Um let's lock on to that weird turret. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Nine point eight. Nine point seven. Fire. Good hits! Now her superstructure is damaged. We didn't knock that gun out though. Oh, <laughs> this is good. Right, this is tense stuff. Let's get the um, the guns focused on uh, the. Hang on. Yeah, that's the rear of the ship. Uh, Fourteen point two is the estimate. Let's bring that down. I think. Uh, 14.3. Fire. Rear turret is out of action. Get in. Oh my goodness. This battle may have just turned. This may have just turned. You can tell from my voice I'm getting quite excited now. Right. Her two main guns are out of action. She still has the lesser guns and the torpedoes. And there's a chance that she may get one of those guns back into the fight. So we need to just... Pound on the pressure. 12.7, come on. Keep pounding her. Nice torpedoes. Oh, they're still going. Oh, God. I think we may still lose the Exeter. Yeah, she's you. Uh, six inch guns now. Well, oh, that's caused a fire onto the uh, 
the Exeter. Right, where are these torpedoes? They're there. Right, let's hard over. And hopefully we should be okay. Right, we just need to try and get some shots on target now. Guns fortunately are still in action. 9.5, 9.6, fire. Oh, good hits. Good hits. Okay. Knife. It feels like the tide is turning. The tide feels like it's turning. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I thought we were done for at one point. It's amazing how it can change in battle. Right. 13.2, fire. Looking good, right. I just had a quick sip as my throat was getting raw. Let's swing around and bring more of a broadside towards the target. Make sure we don't crash into the other cruiser though. Um, 11.8. 11.9, fire. Good hits. Torpedoes. They're still going, you know. Okay. Minor damage. This is tense. This is tense. Right. We're going to keep turning a little bit. Nah, she should be safe from the torpedoes. 10.2 uh, is the elevation. Let's go to 10.1. Fire. One hit. I'm a bit long there. Oh my goodness me. We can probably slow these ones down actually. But this is this is good. Oof. Hopefully the end is nigh. Right. 13 point uh sorry, 12.7 is what they reckon. 12.8, fire. Keep pummeling. Keep pummeling away. Oh yeah, the graph spay is in trouble now. Let's come down to full speed ahead. I have to turn them in a second. Uh eleven point three. 11.2. Open up. Whew. Torpedoes in the water have dismissed the Exeter. Crikey. Okay. <laughs> the Exeter. What can we do? Uh, keep moving forward. We're out of danger of those torpedoes. Now we just need to pummel maximum damage on this ship. 9.5. 9.4. Fire. Good hits. Oh, look at that. Flame erupt. Right. Ajax, keep moving around. Keep the plunging fire going. Right, 11.9. Uh, let's go to 12.1. Fire. It's just a case of just keeping the damage... Admiral Graf Spey is indeed sinking. We have rewritten history. She is about to go down. My goodness. She didn't get the chance to run off to port to hide. So there we go then. Action report. We lost the Exeter. I would have done all that could to uh, save her, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't to be. Uh, too expensive to repair, I'm guessing, so they scuttled her in the end. The Admiral Graf Bay, as we see, is sinking b before our eyes. The Ajax and Achilles undamaged, and their supporting fire was critical in the end, even though it seemed to be absolutely pointless to begin with but uh, no in the end it was good so this has been Atlantic Fleet what are your thoughts it's quite an old game but I do enjoy playing it uh, you can do all sorts of uh, say they've got campaign options for either side there's various other missions as well which we could probably take on there's like the Bismarck oh yes the Bismarck's in there uh, and there's also custom battles so I can you know you can always set up battles against the Hood the Bismarck the Exeter the Nelson the Graf Spey the uh, Prince Eugen. You know, you can set up whatever battles you want. So, um, yeah, we m I might do some more. What are your thoughts? Do you want to see some more uh, Atlantic Fleet action? If you do, put it in th thumbs up and um, put a comment or two in the section below and I'll bring you more your way. Oh, I'm just loving watching that ship sink beneath the waves. Oh. I thought we were done for at one stage. I thought she was just going to 
clean up, but no. We knocked out those turrets and the tide of the battle turned. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.